In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this super popular font on print on demand, and that is the half leopard print font. You see it a lot on Amazon. Uh, it's on Etsy as well. Very popular on Etsy right now. Uh, it's been popular for a while. I'm going to show you how to do it all in Affinity Designer. Let's go. Thanks for joining me on this video. My name is Juna with Detour Shirts. I've been designing and selling t-shirts online since 2005. And in this video, I wanted to show you a design technique. I'm going to show you how to create this fancy font. Um, you've probably seen it before. It's on Amazon. It's on Etsy. It's the half leopard print font and you can make it for yourself. You can go online and see that people are selling this font and you can buy it and make it easy on yourself and uh, download it. But I'm gonna show you how to make it yourself, save you a little bit of money and kind of teach you some skills in Affinity Designer as well so that you can learn how to use that program. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how popular this font is, how people are using it online on Etsy and on Amazon. And then I'm gonna show you how to build it in Affinity Designer, totally in Affinity Designer. You don't need anything else. Uh, and I'm gonna show you some techniques that you can use there too. So let's get into the internet and I'll show you uh, how popular this font is and where it's being used. So first stop is Amazon Merch On Demand. I have pretty much Pro Plus installed. So if you have that, um, you have the research tab right here and I'm just gonna show you uh, the top selling designs on Amazon and we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna see some of those. I mean, it's not everywhere, but as you scroll down, you'll see some of them. Let me see if I can find one here, right here. Let's see right away in the top, what, 30. And if we go there, you can see half leopard print and then the font on the side, right? Um, let me see another one. And so these are the best selling designs on Amazon right now. So you can see that one's popular. Um, I know I saw another one earlier. Uh, well, this one has leopard print and you can use the same uh, idea with the leopard print. This isn't half leopard print, but you get the idea there. Let's see. Um, I know I saw another one. Oh, here we go. So I scrolled a little bit further down, but you can see the half leopard print font on this side and that side. And there's a bunch. If we scroll down and, and look for some of these things, they're not gonna have it in the title, half leopard print font, but you'll see it uh, a bunch if you just keep scrolling down and looking at the top seller. So they're in the top selling, uh, usually for nurses, um, for school, back to school thing. I think if we do nurse, let me see. One thing you can do here is, is search, so. See, I know I've seen it on a nurse shirt before. There we go. So nurse, half leopard print font, right? So they're all just a slightly different using a different leopard print using different colors. Um, but this one again, um, using a different font, but half leopard print. So you can use any font that you want. I'm gonna use something more similar to, to this one, the, uh, the nurse. Um, I'm gonna show you as well on Etsy. If you type in half leopard font shirt, you're gonna see they're selling on Etsy the font so you can buy the font if you don't wanna design it yourself. You can see so many different ones, nurse here. But if you scroll down, teacher being used here, nurse here, bride, so many applications you can use it. Mama here, sixth grade. So back to school, um, teachers, moms, nurses, all those kinds of things you're gonna see being used here, dog mama and so on. And if you wanna learn how to do this in Canva, I'm not gonna teach you that, but you can go to YouTube, type in half leopard font as well, and there's a bunch of uh, YouTube designs or YouTube videos to teach you design in Canva. This one, I watched this one, um, and it's pretty good. It shows you kind of a different technique on how to do it in Canva. So um, I'm not gonna teach you in Canva, I'm gonna teach you in Affinity Designer. So let's get into Affinity Designer right now, and I'll show you how to do this on your own. All right, so here we are in Affinity Designer. I'm gonna show you how to do it. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna need a font. So click on your text tool right here and then start typing a word. We're just gonna use mama for this one. It's just so simple because we're gonna do two letters, M and A. Um, so just do capital M, A, M, A. And then make it bigger like that. We could use this font, but this font's really skinny, so I want a thicker font. So I'm gonna double click on it, and I'm gonna click on here, 
and look for a thick font. You may have this one, you may not. Impact, right here, you can see it's very thick. If you don't have this font, just use a thick font. Um, you could use veneer, you could use um, whatever, a big bold font, condensed bold font is kind of what we're looking for, right? So go find that. And we have this right now. The next thing I wanna do is convert this to curves uh, and then ungroup this. And then we're gonna color these different colors. So um, it can be whatever color, you can do the colors of the rainbow, you can do light colors, dark colors. I'm just gonna pick some colors here at, at random. So I'm gonna do orange here, like that, maybe a blue. And again, if you wanna follow a color palette, that's really good too. But uh, yeah, just play around with it, this, this is fun. It can be uh, random colors, you know, maybe green here, there, that's cool. Uh, maybe a, a more of a purple kind of thing. So it's just fun to make them different colors. Yeah, there you go. All right, so the next thing we wanna do is now get that leopard print pattern. I have a, a tutorial, a video tutorial. I'm gonna put it up here, right there. You can follow along, but basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna make vectors of it. So I'm, I have it already here. So this is what, what it looks like when you're done. You're gonna draw kind of these shapes uh, in Affinity Designer and then these other shapes. So you basically have three things. You have the dark shape, you have the lighter shape, and then you have the rectangle. And they're all vectors. So if you click on here, they're kind of grouped together here, but they're, they're all vectors, right? So if I double click on them, I can change that. So it's kind of made at random. Uh, I show you how to do it in that video real easy. So once you have this right here, this is straight from the video, by the way, I may have changed the background color and you can, you can change it to pink, you can change it to blue, whatever. I just picked this color right here. Um, if you wanna play around with the different colors, that's the nice thing about being uh, in Affinity Designer, you can go ahead and do it. You can do rainbow colors, you can do all kinds, play around with it, um, make it your own. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna group this whole thing. Uh, it's already grouped, you can see. And then I'm gonna use the crop tool and I'll show you why in a minute. So hit crop right there and we're gonna bring it in. So you can see how it's kind of cutting things off and we want that, we want it to look like that. So we want that edge here. So once you have it that way where it's cropped in, where it kind of looks like it's cutting off, that's exactly what you want. So release that and now we're gonna bring this over to our letter. So let's bring this over here. And this is the fun part. We're gonna do this four times. So you can either uh, hit Command J or you can just hold down Option and then bring this over four times like this for the different letters here. And now we're gonna put these inside of the letters, real simple. So I'm gonna move these on the side so you can see what I'm doing for the M here. So the M, I'm gonna just bring it right next to that edge right there. You see where this line is? I'm gonna bring it right up next to that right there. And then I'm just gonna drag it into that M. So I'm gonna bring it down next to the M here. And I'm gonna bring it inside the M. So push it up in the M and bring it to the right. And you can see that's that's what we want right here. You see it's being cut it off. It's being cut off. Um, you can see that it's getting masked right here. And But just that part, right? And we can do the same thing for this M here. So click on this one bring it down into this M and inside. So you can see like that. And even though you don't see it, it's actually there. So you can bring it up like that. Isn't that cool? So now we're gonna do the A. It's gonna be just slightly different. We're gonna um, make it at an angle. So let's bring this up here and kind of turn it like that. And to give it variety, we could turn it upside down too, like that, just so we're not using the same um, side. And we're kind of following this line here. You see right here, just bring it in right there. And now take this and bring it into that color and in, you see? And if you hold it, you'll see what happens right there. Same thing for this one. Um, we can turn it a little bit and bring it down like that and bring it into the M, A right there. And that's all you need to do. And you can do this with different letters. 
Um, we could have done it with the whole alphabet. If you want to do yours with the whole alphabet, type out A, B, C all the way till Z and do this for each letter. And you can be creative with this. You can do it at an angle. You can do it straight, uh, whatever you want. Um, the S says you don't have to curve it. If it was an S instead, then you just do it halfway. So some people just like to use this font. Others like to pair it with like a cursive font. One of the cursive fonts that I like, I'm going to um, type in proud here just so you can see. Um, maybe in not all caps, let's do lowercase. And well, I'm going to spell that right first. Let's do this. D. And I like this font here. It's in one of my favorites, and that is Intro Script Demo. So you can see it's a nice, bold, thick um, font. And you can do something like that. Proud Mama or Mama of Dogs or whatever whatever you come up with. You don't have to copy me. We did Groovy Mama um, before in the other video, right? So we definitely could do that as well. Groovy Mama right there. Um, so yeah, this, this could be your uh, design. Uh, on a white t-shirt, if you want to do it on black, of course, you would come in here and change the background and change this color to white, right? So that, that also would work on black. So you could scale this thing now that you have your own font, right? Make sure you do all the different letters, um, kind of put things together, make it your own. And you can change out, the nice thing about this is you can change out the leopard pattern. Again, you can make this, if you want to make the color of the leopard pattern, a different color you can still come in here it's still a vector and if you came in here and you looked for the the bottom um, let me move my face here right here this bottom rectangle you could change that color you know to maybe let's say you want wanted it a pink color you could do that right and change the different things so have fun with this one and try things out try something new change the colors up you can make this your own totally so Hopefully this was really helpful for you and now go and make some stuff and make and get some sales. So that is it for this video. Hopefully this video is super helpful for you. If it was, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to this channel already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you know somebody that would love to learn how to do this, please share this video. This uh, something that you can share with other people that they want to learn how to do this in Affinity Designer. It's a great uh, way to kind of get started and, and learning some tricks in there. Uh, the question of the day for this video is what other font styles have you seen that you want to learn how to do? Leave those in the comments. Um, there's a bunch of um, fancy stuff out there that you may think are just really hard to do. I can teach you how to do that in Affinity Designer and we can learn together. So uh, leave that in the comments. Thanks again for watching. If you want to see more tutorials in Affinity Designer, you can click on these videos right here. And as always, guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.